to do the outline. Oh, we're on Facebook? Uh, just about to be. Okay, cool. Hi, Facebook. Thanks for joining us today. We're in the middle of our Ninja Turtle design. So just to recap really quick, I used a one inch flat, went around the top of the head, and then came around to do the bottom just like that. Made a one inch, I mean a, a half circle here, and drew two little fabric lines for the bandana. And then came with a green, using the darker side on the top, uh, did the middle first, the middle half circle, and then met it right here on both sides with the other shape. So now we're just gonna outline. And with this mask, you don't have to outline that heavily because it's already black in the outside because I used the split cake. So if you didn't want to outline this part, you could remove it. And I learned somewhere that when you're doing cartoons and you're not really shading, you make your outline heavier where you want it to be shaded and a little bit lighter where you want it to be not as shaded. So it's kind of like shading, except you're using the outline to do it. So we're going to go down here and do six or six in the middle and thicker on the edge again. Now we're going to come right here in the top. And I'm just going to drag come in from this side. Like that and... Sorry, everybody in Facebook uh, world, we were having technical difficulties. But you're here now, and that's what matters. Exactly. All right, so now we're going to do. Hi, Barbara. Hi, another uh, European contingent. Uh, so, somebody from Ireland, Therese is from Ireland. Oh, nice. Hi, Gilbert. These interesting places. Okay, so now we're going to, I'm going to give him some eyebrows. So it's going to be really heavy in the beginning and let it trail off at the end. I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. And then I like to do a little bit of like when you squint your eyes, you get these kind of lines here. So I'm going to throw a little bit of those in. And then all that's left really is to highlight. You can add a couple of texture dots to the Ninja Turtle head area. Thanks. Ah, Therese, okay, nice. I got it right. Like that, just to make it a little more interesting. But you totally don't have to do this if you are pressed for time. And then the last thing is to just add the highlights. Ah, uh, Gilbert loves that mask. Thank you, Gilbert. All right, so there we have it with some highlights. You can skip this part also if you're pressed for time. But here's a really easy Ninja Turtle. And like I said before, you can always change it depending on the color of your Ninja Turtle mask. This could be a red or orange. You have a blue and I have a 
purple or somewhere. But you just use the purple to the cake if you wanted to do the purple Ninja Turtle. All right, so you guys can screenshot that if you want. I'm gonna get rid of him. Yeah. That is a great superhero. Thank you. Uh, Therese loves the uh, yellow dots. I do my, she does her mask the same, but she will definitely add dots. Yes, they're a really quick way to add an interest and texture, making your design look, you know, a little more expensive, a little fancier. And it really only takes a few seconds. And in case you guys are wondering who I am, I'm, I'm Blake Cabot. I'm the owner of facepaint.com. So I, I don't think I ever introduced myself. Maybe one day I will. <laughs> All right, let's see what we have next. Let's do Spider-Man, because that was probably hands down my most requested superhero design ever. And a huge pain in my butt, but you know, everyone likes it. <laughs> Start with white. Okay. That's a little loose brush with white and a little bit of white. Hi, Oh no, look at this. I'm hitting pan on the, the bottom of my white already. Uh oh. Gonna yeah, have you're going to have to. Uh... Buy some more craze face paint. <laughs> yeah. You have a coupon code for me? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, you, you guys, uh, for special friends of Rick's, you get a, you get a great deal. Awesome. All right. So for the Spider Man, we're going to do the eye shape first. And there's like a million different ways you can do the Spider Man. I'm just going to show you a really simple one, one that you can get done pretty quickly. So I like to stay away from the eyes because for the most part, you get a lot of boys requesting Spider-Man. Sometimes the girls request it too, but the boys in particular don't like to have the paint so close to their eyes. So you can end it here or you can go around the bottom depending on how you want your to do it. The next part, I like to use the, the eyebrow as a guide. I go right under the eyebrow, and that's where I end it. So there we have the Spider Man eye, and I'll show you both sides so you guys can see which one you prefer. And now I'm just gonna load. Usually, when I do Spider-Man, I use the star blend. Because, I'll tell you why. Because the star blends dry. This is a powder base. Well, makeup, I should say. And the powder is not to dry. So you can go right over it right away. Red paint. I don't know. I think it's trying to work out a little bit. So we're gonna do it with a piece today, but you just take your blender and, and go over the designs, and it just makes it really easy to blend out and have more And you could also go right over with the black and the white, like immediately without waiting for it to dry. So that's why I like to use this for a spider man. Okay, so and I'm just going to, you could also do this with a split cake as well. If you had like a red and black one. I'm just going to fill in this area. I don't like 
face designs because those tend to take longer and I'm all about speed painting. So we're just gonna come right down underneath the eye and that's gonna be the end of our mask. You can connect it also to the middle like this if that's how you want or you can leave it open. I usually leave it open. So this is gonna be one half of the Spider-Man, the other one's gonna be the other half, but they're gonna be basically the same design. So now with the black, when you outline, you wanna be heavier towards the top and lighter pressure as you go down the sides like this. And you wanna fill in this part a little bit more and I usually make this side pointy like that. I'm just gonna come around and fill that in. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side. Hey, Zuri. Uh, Therese thinks that parents should uh, prefer the masks too. Yeah, especially with the red paint tends to stick around longer than you'd like it to. So I'd say, especially with Spider-Man, I'd recommend that you don't paint the whole entire face. Got it. Yep. Okay. Zuri, your, your name is suspiciously close to Siri. And so my phone keeps responding every time I say, Zuri. If I say, hey, Zuri, because my phone starts acting up. OK, so here we have the open and the closed Spider-Man. They both have a similar eye shape. You can do um, one that's like super pointy and elongated, or you can do mm -hmm. more of a round one. I like to have mine kind of in the middle. And then basically, the last step is the spider web. So sometimes. If the kid is staying still, I'll put a spider here. But if they're not, if they're pretty young, or they're not feeling, you know, getting their face painted, then I'll skip the spider. So I'm going to just use where I ended the, the eyes as the first line. And then I'm gonna make two teardrops right in the middle. I'm gonna have one that comes here, here, and I'm gonna flip over and go up on that one. Now, do, as a question for the groups, does anybody really like superhero designs? Because a lot of people, I know you have to do them, but do you like them? Yeah. What are your What are your favorite and least favorite superhero designs to do? Yeah, that, that. that's mm -hmm. a good question. And last step. Uh, is that a number two brush? It is a one. It's a one. OK. Yep. Yeah. All right. So I'm just going to meet. Trace loves doing them. Spider-Man and Batman, uh, Zuri likes. Batman's really easy. I don't even know if I'm going to do Batman in this video because the super fast Batman that I do is literally just like the bat outline. And I figured you guys would probably want to see something a little bit more. Sophie likes them because the kids pretend they're flying around defeating bad guys. <laughs> nice. Uh, Joan says she doesn't, she likes them, but she doesn't get a lot of superhero design requests. Really? You're lucky, Joan. Like Spider-Man. 
I get um at almost every single party there's a request for a Spider Man. Almost every single one for me. So, We're in New York. Yeah. You know, maybe it's because Spider Man lives in New York. That's a good point. Yeah. Because Spider Man's real, of course. <laughs> So outlining is really the last step. As always, it can be skipped. But I'll just show you really quick what it looks like outlined. And you want to make sure your lines underneath are completely dry. Mine aren't, so that's why I'm getting the paint bleeding a little bit. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to outline every single spider web. Just throw a couple of here and there. Mm -hmm. And do a couple. And so usually I'm using stencils, which most of the time I'm not. I'd have the one that has like the dots I don't know. Let me see if I can illustrate this for you. The dots that get, you know, progressively smaller as you go toward the edge. And that's a good way to blend the edge of your Spider-Man mask. Kind of looks like this. Huh. Actually, Joan says that uh, her company doesn't have it on the menu. Oh, you guys use a menu. That's cool. So that's a good way to blend your edges using this stencil. You could also do it by hand like I'm doing. If you don't want like a super harsh line at the edge of your mask. And that's basically Spider-Man. Okay. That's a version of Spider-Man. It's an attractive Spider-Man. So how many, uh, as a, another question to the group, of the superheroes, is it like 90% boys and, uh, or is it just kind of mixed? Mm. What is it for you, Kathy? For me, I'd probably say like 75% boys, 25% girls on superheroes. Okay. Usually when they see, like, I'll try to get, like, the first kid that you paint at a party is really important because that's the child who everyone's going to see painted, and that's how they're going to base what they want to ask for. So if mm -hmm. it's really nice, something that you're really good at, like, for me, that would be, like, a butterfly or some flowers, then chances are the next kids that come along, they're going to ask for the same exact thing, and you get to continue doing what you're good at and what you like to do and what you can do quickly. If you start out with a super time-consuming design that you don't really like doing, chances are you're going to be asked to do that more than once throughout the party because that's what everyone's going to see first. Let's see. Superheroes, Ninja Turtle. Let's do... Let's do the Flash. And for this one... I'm going to try and use the powder makeup because there's a lot of drawing on top of the flash. And, you know, we'll be sitting here all day if we have to wait for the paint to come through. So you're basically making the same exact shape. Except the bottom is a little bit more angular. Uh, and it looks kind of like that. You can totally do this with paint too. And now I'm going to go right on top with a big white. And this is why I use the powder 
because I'm gonna have to do white here and then I have to paint on top of the white and then I have to paint on top of all of that. And I know you guys just don't wanna waste time waiting for paint to dry. Superhero for boys, yep. Butterflies for girls. Therese totally agrees. Mm -hmm. We're gonna add these little yellow circles right by the ears. And they have lightning bolts attached to them, like that. There we go. And then if you wanna be really authentic to the Flash brand, I believe he has three clips in his lightning bolt, even though Personally, I think it looks better with two. You can do two also. It's not like the kids are going to count them and call you out. Katie says that the unicorns are the most popular one in Australia. You woke up early for this. Australia, awesome. Yeah, unicorns are, are pretty popular here too. Okay, now I'm just going to outline. Have we done a unicorn class? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank God. <laughs> we had one, one earlier. So if you go to our Facebook uh, video page, uh, Katie, you can see our unicorns. Yeah, I did a unicorn class, I think last month or the month before maybe. Yeah, I think so. So now we're just going to outline. Yeah, three different time zones, absolutely. Wow, I'm so honored you guys are here watching at midnight at the crack of dawn. Yep. That black though, I'm not sure I understand Gilbert. Okay, now we're just gonna outline the lightning bolt. Oh, you see, and my black is mixing with the white here because it's not dry. Carefully go over that really lightly. If you want to add a little bit of like angles and some, you know, some dimension, you can just put the lines right oh, there. Gilbert likes the black. The black. Oh yeah, crazy effects. There you go. Therese says uh, you made her flash design easier to do now. I'm so glad. That's all I want to hear. If I made your life even just a little bit easier, then I've done my job here. Yes, you have. That's the key. Okay, I'm going to come in a little bit. Uh, Christy asks, what is the red powder you used? Oh, this is Star Blends. It's kind of hard to see. Let me see if I have to. Oh, it's a little clearer. All right, this one's a little bit clearer. This is Star Blends. This is my white one, but it's by Mayron. Mm -hmm. Do they sell at facepaint.com? We do. We do sell that. Yeah. We're big fans of Mayron. They do a great job. They do. They use their, their paints, their makeup, their um, metallic powders. They're awesome. Joan said uh, unicorns are also popular in Denmark, and she, she likes your line work a lot. Thank you.
you're welcome. Okay, so there we go. Some line work, I mean, some outlines here. And that's your flash. I hope that was easy <laughs> for you guys to, to try out. All right, so now I'm gonna get rid of him. There you go. And if you guys try these designs, tag me on, on Facebook and Instagram because I love seeing them. There's this girl who tagged me in her, when we did the sea creatures live, she tagged me in her sea creatures designs and they were so good. I need a magic eraser. Oh, that was her, that was Sophia. Well, Sophia, if you practice these, tag me because I want to see them. <laughs> um, This looks super fuzzy, Lilia. Is that? Um, Is it yeah. my camera that looks fuzzy? Uh, it can kind. Of, it looks a little fuzzy because I think it's as it gets from zoom to uh, this thing, it's a, a little bad. But are there people having this problem? Yeah, are you guys having issues watching it? Um, let's do. Let's try a Black Panther. Because that one is becoming increasingly popular. Sure. This one is also extremely simple. You only really need like two, maybe three colors. So it's just the, he's going to do the black mask. And I should do this. Okay. Also, I have to draw. So from the looks of it so far, hit or miss. Some people it's fine. Some people it's terrible. Oh, no. Or it's fuzzy. Maybe when it when you're could also be your connection. That's the other thing I can only think of. Am I on? I'm on the Wi-Fi. I'm connected, and I have four bars, so I don't know. No, it looks like I said, it looks okay to some people, and other people, it doesn't look okay. So um, we will struggle on. Maybe it's their connection. It's not buffering properly. Maybe. I hope it gets better. Or it'll probably be good quality when it's uploaded to Facebook later. Yeah. Yeah, you can always see it on Facebook. That's true. So we're going to upload this. I mean, it'll be on, on our Facebook page if you want to check that out. And uh, that would be, uh, that's one way to see it. Thanks for everybody to let me know. So now I'm just using a smoothie blender to get the black down. I would do this in paint but this one also has another, a lot of drying on top. So I don't want to wait for all that paint to dry. <laughs> now she's kind of like Catwoman. This can be a Catwoman design also, just depends on what you put on on top. Huh, okay. Now you say it, they look awful alike. <laughs> okay. Uh, thanks, Sophie. We're going to get a silver. And I'm just going to do the line work in silver. I'm going to get a tiny detail brush just so we can really get into the whole detail here. So we're going to come across the ear. Grace's daughter wants to be Catwoman. Yeah. Which one, though? So Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman or like a Halle Berry Catwoman? So many choices. Yeah. Or just the Catwoman from the 1960s. Uh, Joan said she painted with Starblend on a birthday event and the floor was totally black afterwards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, there's a lot of fallout with these powders. Usually I would like tap them off before I start like um, using them on maybe like the table, if there's like a tablecloth or um, 
a second. Or just be really like mm -hmm. like with the uh, with the sponge, like try not to get like dig in there too much because then that's when you get a lot of the the dust to come out. So Black Panther is like a lot of zigzags, and it doesn't have to be exactly what his costume looks like. Because again, the kids are not going to call you out and say, oh, no, that's supposed to look like this. This is supposed to point that way. Like, they're not going to do that. Mm -hmm. going to outline this one in black since the powder is not super opaque. But you can also outline Black Panther in white. If you're doing it with black paint, white tends to stand out a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Ah, I left a Sophie got some crazy silver today. Uh, <laughs> you're gonna borrow your kid's face. I always wonder about your kids after a while. When do they start? When? Do, what age do they start complaining? I don't know. I mean, you got a two-year-old, so I would think two and three-year-olds. I don't think that they're gonna start complaining. Yeah, my three-year-olds don't complain yet, except they don't like to sit for very long. So if I'm going to paint something on them, it has to be like extremely quickly, unless it's something that they really like. Because my daughter, she I, she painted his outlet right now, watching TV. Ah, uh, 10. 10 is the age when they start complaining, according <laughs> to Lainey. <laughs> I'm not there yet, but we'll see. I know Beth did a lot of stuff for me over the years. And, and I think your kids, she got them all the way to up to through high school. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if they're into face painting, then they'll stay. Like nobody in my family does face painting, but if my mom was a face painter, I would totally let her paint my face. All up and paint <laughs> Lady stalks the uh, neighborhood kids. <laughs> and, and Therese has to pay her daughter, who's thirteen now. Oh wow! Yeah, you can always go to a park. Go to a park. Those kids love. You can face paint them, especially for free if you're practicing. Right, so here's a really Joan cool. says it's the parents who complain. <laughs> yeah. Black Panther. All right, what else? All right so my list, I have one, two, three, four, five more. Well, yeah, we're not going to do all those. We got 20 minutes, unless these are going to be really fast. Five. <laughs> 20, I don't know, challenge accepted. Let's see. Okay. Let's see, they are pretty simple. Now we're gonna go into my kids' favorite superheroes, which are the PJ Masks. My st uh, Tessa's son started charging at uh, age 11, 50p a paint. What? Oh my goodness. What Katie, on the other hand, loves uh, getting painted. And she let her mom paint her all the time. Yeah, I, I love getting painted when we went out for like, you know, events or whatever. I would always be the first online to get my face painted. So if my mom could have done it at home for me, that would have been heaven. Okay, so as you might have already guessed, this is going to be Gecko. Now we're going to just close up the mask. 
maybe I'm a little out of date, but what superhero is Gecko? That's PJ Masks. It's not, they're, they're relatively new. Okay. It's like on Netflix. Okay. And I have it on like, um, like channel 13 or something maybe. I don't know. My kids just watch it on Netflix. So I don't know where else they have it. Okay. But they are obsessed with this. Like completely obsessed. I've seen all of the seasons they have on Netflix at least four times every single episode. They have PJ Masks toys everywhere. Yeah, Sophie says the same thing. Uh, she uh, practiced PJ lip mask last week because kids love them. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Joan says she's painted Catboy and Owlette two times. Oh, well, there you go. Well, hopefully this will be an easy version for you to try. Therese says uh, she's being robbed. My daughter gets only gets five pounds. So, you know, this is the European. Uh, well, depending on Brexit, you know, the race, it'll be a little different. But yeah, you, you could say uh, in the UK, they only get 50p. I wonder what is, is that like pence, 50 pence? Okay. Yeah, so it's like a half, 50 cents in the US ish. Uh, sadly, getting a little closer. Got it. So I'm gonna add some little texture dots for him. Yep, I know. I know Teresa's, but you you pay in euros. And then basically we just outline. Oh, and he has eyebrows. Oh, is, is Tessa paying? I thought 50p meant, meant uh, pounds. Am I wrong? Okay. That's a pretty good looking mask. Thank you. So here's Gecko. And you don't have to outline the eyes. I usually don't if I'm painting a child. But on this practice board, it makes the design look better. And then I'm going to outline this real quickly. That's what I thought. Okay, super fast. And let's put my life in here. Just to make it fancy. There you go. And there's Gecko. A really quick Gecko. Now let's do an Owlet. There's three of them. There's Gecko, Owlet, and Catboy. Not popular in Europe, sadly. And not in Europe? Nope. Man, you guys gotta, gotta get your kids hooked. So what are the European super, super, superheroes? Yeah, what are, what are your kids watching here? Now for Outlet, I'm gonna take a red. It is a great design, I agree with you. Very much like the Ninja Turtles. Absolutely, Katie. Mm -hmm. Really similar. All of these are like super similar. You can take one mask and just change the color or the placement slightly and turn it into something completely different. Although Joan says in Denmark, these are big. Oh, see, there you go. You can practice them. So I'm going to make kind of my own split cake here because I don't have a red split cake. So I'm just adding black to the very tip of my brush. Not a lot at all because it's I don't want it to be overpowered. And so for Owlette, it's going to go, I'm looking at my, my notes over here. Paw Patrol. Ooh, yeah. Paw Patrol, I get asked for a lot. I've done a lot of Paw Patrol designs. So the Owlette mask is kind of like that. I'm like this. So you can give yourself a quick outline just so you're ready. So it looks kind of like these eyebrows. Are you going to turn the brush at the end? <laughs> looks like a toupee. <laughs> like when Squidward got hair, that's what this reminds me of. And you're going to go and make 
a few. Little wings over here. And then flip it over so that the black is on the bottom now. And we're going to do the bottom part of the mask. I went a little high there. Uh, Teresa, you're very good uh, at explaining things. Thank you. Well, one of the things uh, that's we, we didn't give the full introduction for Kathy, but Kathy has trained literally hundreds of face painters in New York. So uh, she worked for this, works for this company that um, I know the owner threw up sort of a business thing. And uh, she um, said, oh, I've got this person that does nothing but train face painters. And there's a lot of great face painters, but in terms of explaining it to other face painters, you're the best. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're welcome. SpongeBob also comes up. So here's, I'm just gonna read all of this because we kind of got covered with the background. You can make that one a little bit thick as it feeds into the bottom over here. Um, one thing, if you guys, um, uh, we're starting a, a, a face painting group for facepaint.com and, um, we're doing a, uh, a learning center and it's going to have a lot of different units that we have of, of uh, how to learn how to face paint and things like that. And we're eventually going to start doing webinars around it. So if you guys ever want to join the group, uh, it's, uh, totally free, uh, no cost. Um, and here's the link if you guys want to join. You can see a lot more of my pretty face. Yeah, yeah, we're doing some videos that are sort of very specific for this, and we're uh, we're doing them in my basement. We we're supposed to do them today, but sadly, I couldn't make it. So, um, we did three the other day, which yeah, we'll be okay. releasing soon. Have they been edited yet? Are they? Like they have been edited. They just got edited today, in fact. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, his Becky is fast. He is. You're more than welcome, Therese. I mean, you got to show me. I want to see <laughs> what, what? what those videos look like. Sure. Me and my sister can have a good laugh while we watch. <laughs> the intros were a classic. The actually, actually, the outros were classic. <laughs> I don't know if he left. Uh, sometimes he'll leave uh, bloopers in there. Well, so. well, there'll be a lot of bloopers if you guys want to see bloopers. Oh, the link didn't work? Oh, uh, let me try another link. Sorry. So I like kind of have like this eyeliner on top of her, her costume, her mask. So that's that what I'm going to do here. And Bring this down to outline the bottom. Like that. So usually I wouldn't do this outline down here. It's just to show you guys where the mask would end. So I came up a little bit high with the brush. So it wouldn't be actually on their eyes, obviously. But there's a lot. On a really easy one, I should say so myself. Hey, look. Oh, Catboy, of course. Catboy, huh? Which one's Catboy? Mm -hmm. I'm missing. He's the leader of the group. Okay. So I'm going to use this blue. Oh, the, the linking isn't working. Jeez. Okay, let me see if I can figure this out. And you're basically going to make the same shape as you did for 
Black Panther. And if you had a black and blue split cake, you could totally use that also. I don't, so we're gonna use solid blue and just outline here. Okay, this one is also very simple and quick. So now I'm gonna go with the lighter blue to do his little accent, forehead and his cheeks. And this brush on it. That's all this one says, which is fine for what I'm doing because I want it to stand out against the dark blue. Okay, so he has basically triangles is what you're going to be drawing, a bunch of triangles. There's one big one in the middle, two on either side, and then he has a couple of this way. Ah, so the link works some of the time? Okay, now I'm confused. You can fill in his ears. And he also has eyebrows like Gecko does. There's Cowboy. It is more like lightning, says Joan. That what? It's more like lightning, lightnings. What's more like lightning? Uh, this, I guess. Uh, the cowboy? Yeah. I've seen some people do it with lightnings, but when I look at the, like the actual cartoon, the one, at least the one that and I'm watching him, they might have updated his his costume in the newer version, but he only has the little triangles. So if you want to do lightnings, yeah, it's totally go for it. Maybe the easiest way, uh, Therese, is to just, um, if you go into Facebook and go facepaint.com learning center, maybe that'll be the easiest way. Um, Sophie says the cartoon has the middle, a triangle, and the two sides are lightning. Oh, okay. So then you probably be more like this. Like that? Okay, that's it. So there you go, it was a really quick cat boy. It's my light in the way, let me block the light. And what do we have left? Oh, we have two left. Which one should I do? A Captain America and Wonder Woman. Which do you guys prefer? Because we probably would only have Unless I did Wonder Woman extremely quickly. Wonder Woman isn't really that difficult. Very. Christy says that was very cute. Thank you. Gilbert wants uh, Captain America, I guess. Oh, the heck, that actually worked, I think. Did it? Wonder Woman, yep. There's the old Wonder Woman, which is like like this, like a triangle of yellow with a red star. And mm -hmm. that's pretty straightforward. There's the gold one that looks like this. This is like the newer Wonder Woman. And I'm just using a tag. What is this? Yeah, there's a tag, old gold and pearl gold. So it's two different kind of golds. I just mix them together. Mm -hmm. uh. Sophia, you have Wonder Woman comic book style on, on your face right now. Oh. Wow. Okay, then. You are a true face painter. So you gotta just make a diamond in the middle. And this is a long V right here. 
and the rest is the outline basically because there's no um shouldn't really have any other colors here So it's thicker toward the top, this V, and then it gets a little bit thinner, closer to the edge as you come down, like that for her. Mm -hmm. And then you would just do the star that she has. And this version is a little bit simplified from the one that she actually wears just because she there's like a lot of detail in the background and it would take pretty long to do this at a party. So I'm trying to get the super fast one out. So that's her and then you just finish with highlights. Asma says Wonder Woman is very quick, must have in design board now. Yeah, I was kind of bad doing Wonder Woman though, because it's like that's it. It's just the headband. And I feel right. like if you want more painted on their face, you can give them like some eyeliner, I guess. Mm -hmm. Make it more Wonder Woman. Uh, Joan, yeah, we can make a video with arm designs if you want. Oh, nice. Yeah, we could totally do arm designs. So it's a Wonder Woman. Two minutes for Captain America. And then Blake, you owe me a soda because I got them all done in 20. <laughs> You're right, I do. <laughs> Elizabeth says, uh, small practice board, great painting. Thank you. Small. Oh, was the practice board not the main video? this time? No, it's the main video. Oh, okay. All right, so. Gilbert thinks you're an awesome teacher. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm trying to stall you so you don't get that soda. No, I know. And I loaded the brush with a solid blue when I didn't mean to. Uh-oh. So we're going to push that back a little bit. We're going by um, Jones time in Denmark. So we haven't yet reached 7 o'clock. Exactly. So let's do eyebrows. Like that. Flip it for the bottom. Like that. Let me do the top, the semicircle on the top. Fill it in. And we have the white over here. Some people do it with the white um, wings. I just put a three tear drops like that. Some people don't. I know his costume sometimes has it like written on the side instead of sticking out, but that's okay. So what do you guys want to see next? What no? We're go, we got uh, eyes next week with Zuri mm -hmm. coming up. We'll be watching that one. Yeah, Zuri has got great eyes. Elizabeth says Captain America is not popular in Europe. No, I imagine he wouldn't be. <laughs> yeah. Balloons. Ah, we did a balloon session yesterday. Really? Yeah. Where was I when this was happening? I don't know. It was just a basics balloon thing. I did run it out of, um, uh, I do that on clownantics.com, my other website. Because oh. it's more clown focused than face painting focused. Um, on facepaint.com so we can see. 
I mean, not, not facepaint.com, the Facebook group. Oh, quick Halloween designs. Oh, yeah, that's next time. Yep, so, that was what we're going to do next time. We're going to do Halloween. I yep. have so many Halloween designs I want to show you. We might split it into two videos. I know, like, there's a lot of different techniques that go into Halloween designs also, like dry brushing. Welcome, Barbara. There's a lot. Yeah, so the next one is Zuri, um, and we're going to be doing that at 6 p.m. Eastern time on the 1st of October. Um, and then uh, we are going to have on clownantics.com, uh, 6 o'clock, superhero balloons. And we haven't, we, we said we were going to do Halloween, but did we actually put it on the calendar? No, we'll, put it. Yeah, we'll, we'll put it on the calendar. What, what day do you want? Or do you want to talk about it afterwards? Um, yeah, let's check my calendar. You can't, you can't do Captain America and look at your calendar at the same time. <laughs> I, I'm going to keep trying to stall you. Well, actually, it's 7.02. I, I think I, I don't know about the soda. I don't know, because I, technically I finished it, but we're just doing embellishments now. Yeah. Uh, what do you so, guys, do you want me in soda? Yeah, okay, fine. I'll buy you the soda. <laughs> Spider-Man classic, Elizabeth says. Yeah, more superheroes uh, and Halloween designs. There are a lot more superheroes. Oh, there's totally. <laughs> there's plenty. Yep. Here's a, a really quick Captain America. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to make the A with all the, the dimensions and stuff. I just put it so you can see what it would look like if you did. And again, the highlighting is not mandatory. There we go, it's Captain America. Okay. Awesome. List this time. Oh, have have we done princesses? We have not done princesses, Joan. No. Teresa says great design. We did ten. We did ten. I think that's a record. That is a record. Okay. Ten designs for the price of. Oh, it's free. So I, I, I guess it's not. <laughs> There's no, you can't put a price on learning. You can't put a price on learning. You can't. Although some do. My college certainly did. Yeah. All right. But that's go. a good, that's a good idea, Joan. We should definitely be princesses. Princesses like the faces of princesses? Or like this is a princess crown? Kind of uh, princess crowns uh i mean inevitably they're crowns i mean i yeah crowns okay yeah we can do a, cl a class on crowns but it might be short because there's i can show you like the different kinds of crowns like different types of designs but you basically just take you can take the shapes and make whatever you want so i can show you like the base you could do princesses and flowers mm -hmm. no we did flowers already though yeah, but flower, flower crowns, you could do that kind of thing. Okay. Anyway, okay, well, um, thank you guys. Uh, check in on facepaint.com. We'll, we'll list the, the next ones coming up. And I uh, appreciate you uh, checking in with us. Yeah, thanks for being here, guys. I hope I made your face painting lives a little bit easier today. And I want to see you at the next video. There you go. And for the Europeans, please go to sleep. And for the Australians, please wake up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, everybody. Goodbye. Bye. You're very welcome.